Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that there's extreme power in being grateful for the reasons and seasons of your journey. That could look many different ways. It could be uh, relationships, whether intimate or just simply friendships. It can be certain life choices as far as your choice of work. It could be your environment. Everything changes, so embrace it. Don't take on the, uh, well, you can take on whatever attitude you like. It's not my job to tell you. I'm here to remind you of the power that you have and being able to assess, reflect, and being grateful for those things that seem good and bad. Because honestly, it's all about the perspective or the lens that you put onto it. See, there are things that we can feel or believe happen to us, but it's truly happening for us. Sometimes you can make a mistake for 10 months, 10 years, and upon reflecting on it, the next time that lesson comes around, it take you 10 minutes, 10 seconds to exercise what you've learned. That's all this journey of experiences is truly about learning different ways to enrich your journey, to enrich your life. It's not designed for us to hold on to as much as we can. It's not designed for us to stay the same as long as we can. Nothing in this reality stays the same. It's in perpetual motion, so why would we be any different? It's that ego. That's what can keep us locked into a certain frame of mind. That's the only thing that differentiates our bodies, our experiences from everything else in this reality. Nature doesn't have an ego. Animals don't have ego. We see these things through the eyes of ego. So embrace the reasons and seasons. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up. Don't judge yourself assess and move in the direction that you like because in doing so you give yourself the power you operate by your rules not by anybody else's because when they operate by their rules they're doing it with themselves in mind so when you operate by your rules you do it with yourself in mind now this does take a bit of accountability and knowing that if you misstepped or had a mistake, that only you can correct that. It's nobody else's job to do that for you. It's your life. It's an inside job. Trust in yourself and move forward with that light. Move forward with that power within you. Everything else, it unfolds in divine timing. So be easy, relax. Give yourself grace, forgive yourself, but more importantly, take time to reflect on who you are. Because what we see out here in the world is, is really mirroring back what's within us, right? So moving from that aspect, we're not victims. We're, nobody's a victim. We're just living the outcomes of our choices. And in doing so, we must remain accountable. It's not always nice, it's not always pretty, but don't get caught up in the facade of ego because it's strictly surface level, it's superficial. Who you are within, connected with the true nature of your heart, that's where the beauty in life can really unfold. So don't get caught up too much in the mind no, there's ways to utilize the mind because it's a tool. But you are not your mind. Your mind serves your spirit. Believe in yourself. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.